The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, folks, uh, let's get talking about something I know a little bit about, and that's precious metals, crude oil, and some of the others. But let's take a look here. Uh, you can see here, this is the uh, gold market. If you remember over the weekend, uh, we've been sent out the newsletter and everything saying that uh, this action, we would expect a 382 retracement. We got that last night right here at 1985 at a high of 1987. We came down, we made a perfect A, B, C, D. We covered it right in here. Didn't go long uh, right in that area, but I, we did cover it. Uh, the reason why is the fact that there was a possibility, and let's just move over here. Got a lot of stuff to cover today, and a request. Let's get up here. Here is the uh, silver. Uh, we just made the uh, 382 in the silver of the whole move, folks. There was last night's move. We sold that right there. Uh, and by golly, uh, said to make the ABCD right here, just like we did in the gold. And we just made, as you can see here, we just made the 382 just a little minute ago here at uh, 640, uh, 26. Uh, 64. That's where that beeper was going off when we were in the when we were on the air. So that's what we're watching here. No ABCD here, but a very nice. We took out these highs here of a few hours ago, and now we hit that number uh, exactly. So that's another one that we're paying uh, you know close attention to here today because silver. By the way, if you look at this on the long term daily, and that's the real beauty of this. Look at this last uh, Friday, folks. Right on the money, we call that honey because look at that 2455, 2425. Guess what the high was, folks? 2425. And look where it is now. It's a buck, a barrel. It's not a barrel, Larry. It is an ounce lower than that. So it's been a pretty good run here uh, in silver uh, today and gold. So those have been really nicely. We've got another one here that is happening right now. And let's just get this up here. To take a quick look at it here and that is there's two of them actually we're going to be watching one right here hold on one second this is the british pound we've been showing you that one for quite some time here this is it this is a daily now folks this is not uh, ifs and buts or candy and nuts this is a big one there's your abcd pattern coming in right here at one two five four two eight okay now, what we need to do is we need to verify that with some of these other swings that are back here. We can get rid of this malarkey. That's from a couple of months ago. It doesn't count. Here's what counts. From the high down to the low, you see you're, you're between the 382 and the 50%. So we have to measure from these highs right here because these were important highs. So if we go from this high down to this high right here, you're going this low. Let's see. You're going to be uh, you're above the 61% retracement. So the next thing you want to do is verify it off of these two right here. Now, this one is higher than this one, so you have to include this one. So you measure this one, and that gets you to right here. There's a number. That's going to be and, – and, and the reason why this is important, this was a 382, and it took six days to complete, okay? This one took about 10 days. So this was a little higher, so you have to take that one. That's this one right here. There's the number. There's where you want to go short the British pound. That's up about another 25, 30 pips from where we are right now. 2.1.25428. That's what we're watching here uh, in the British pound. So pay pay close attention to that one. It's got a really good chance of being something, you know, really nice. So that's pretty good. Now, here's another one that this looks like it's ready to play ball again. Even though we've had a heck of a nice run in it last night, we were able to cover this uh, at a really nice profit, which is the Treasury bonds. And you'll see where we covered them. There was the move we had to the downside. Those of you that like AB equals CD, what do you call this, folks? A, B, C, and D. And you got a low here from the 15th. And if you just did that tiny little measurement like this, A, B, C, D, 
it takes you right to there and look where we are and look where we're going folks remember this number here oh yes we remember this one we want to get the daily up because we're going back there again and look where we are we're almost there it's one the number actually the actual number you want to be watching is 116 uh, um well the old number is 116 uh, 05, you want to go to 116.10, I believe is going to be the actual number because you've got this ABCD structure right here. And what you want to be watching, if you're watching expansions and contractions, there's your move that came down. So you have an ABCD move still extending here. Excuse me, folks, this is not a swing. My bad. What I want to do is I want to measure the expansion of this swing right here. You hit the same high two days in a row. You drop three handles, folks. That's a lot of money in Treasury bonds, okay? That means we're going to get up here to this level right here. And I misspoke. I believe the level, once we get above 116.06, there's the number you want to look at, folks. The old number we had was 02. So watch 116.06. Just take this out by just a little bit. Make 116.06, and that should stop it. Because if it doesn't, there's where we're going. So you only have to risk about 10 or 15 pips if you're going to be able to do that. The fact that we could only back off this tiny little bit and match the low. We took out the lows of yesterday by one pip, for heaven's sakes. I mean, there was no selling there. For My goodness, that's one of the reasons. Besides that, you're looking at it. If you remember, just a beautiful uh, ABCD down there. There it is, ABCD. You see how it, take the, well, it took it out by more than a couple pips, but there it is right there. There's your ABCD, and we're off to the races now. And there must have been something happened here news-wise uh, about 10 minutes ago, and that would have been about 11 o'clock. Maybe the Fed's in there speaking, but we'll take a quick look here. The little back off here, that you'll notice that little thing that flashed up. That's where I was saying it was going to get above that level. And that's where we went above here. I decided to, well, buy it. Anyway, look, this is what we're looking at, folks. 116.06. It's going to happen probably while we're on the air. So watch that number, folks. It is really a big number. It's the long term on the daily. And that's going to be a really important one to uh, pay attention to. 116.06. There it is right there. We're at 01 right now. This high was uh, 05. So we took that out. And we're going to find out whether it's got any... Uh, if we get if you see a if you see a print of 116.13 or something like that, it's probably going to go higher. Remember, folks, on the long term weekly on this, we made that major pattern down there. Let's move this over here. Um, oh, what happened to this thing? It just didn't draw it out like it should have. There it is. There was your one six. Remember that once this A B C D measured to. Let's just draw it in again to probably be able to see it. 117. Um, excuse me, 107.04, and uh, you'll get it in right there. There, uh, Let's turn 105. 107 was the number. I don't know why that is. Uh, oh, it was off of this larger one right here, but 107.04 was the bigger number that we were looking at right here. So we're still in the midst of a one, two, three, four, five-week rally. This rally lasted several months, folks, so who knows what the Fed's going to do, but uh, don't stand in front of it. That's the bottom line, so let's pay attention. Okay, let's get back to, uh, uh, I think we have a break coming up, don't we? Let's just double check here. Yeah, we must have. Stay with us. we got another trade set up for you might like. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have a caller. Jeff is on the line. Jeff, how are you doing? Uh, doing well. How are you, Larry? Very good. What can I help you with, my friend? Great. Uh, two quick uh, questions about trading at the end of the year here. One question is, if you've noticed, if your patterns are more effective or less effective between Thanksgiving to New Year's, or are the same? No, they're the, they're the same. What happens is you have illiquidity coming in during that time sometimes because a lot of people, very few people trade the day after Thanksgiving or the day before uh, uh, Christmas Eve or stuff like that. That's the only time that you you have illiquidity. You'll see some jagged things. But other than that, you know, you, these ABCDs work a lot. They don't work all the time, but they, they work more than they fail. That's the bottom line of, you know, what you're looking at here. Mm -hmm. So I, I, okay. I think, no, I, the answer to that is no, there's no difference for me, from my perspective. For many years, I didn't even work the month of December when I was at Drexel. Uh, that, you know, well, we did a little bit, you know, but very little. We did some you know, tax stuff, but frankly, you know, well, you it was know, I very little. I remember hearing you say that in the in the past that you mm -hmm. traded very little or didn't trade at all at the end of the year, and that, that's what I uh, was thinking about uh, why I thought of a couple potential reasons. One was maybe the patterns don't work so well near <laughs> no, the end. Actually, uh, the other one real... was you didn't want to take a chance on lowering your yeah. profitability for the year. No, but, actually. Um, the reason why it was at Drexel is they were afraid of people that hadn't made their quota for the year. If you hadn't made your quota by the end of November, you probably weren't going to make it, you know, unless you were close. They just didn't want people. Uh, they never allowed churning in an account. They watched those accounts like a hawk. So that was never a problem. They just wanted people to enjoy it, you know, and slow down and, you know, help the community. We had to go to the – didn't have to. We went to the jails and the prison, you know, with food and, and stuff like that and the, the uh, uh, shelters. You know, we did a, they Drexel did a lot of stuff, and we were, you know, we were expected to to do our share, which we did. We were always happy to do that, but that's the main reason. But I trade, you know, it's 12, 12 months a year. It doesn't make any difference to me now because, you know, it's just me. I don't have, I don't work for anybody else other than me. So, <laughs> so that was my other question: is if you trade any differently uh, between no. Thanksgiving and New Year's, like I, maybe you trade a little bit lighter no, or you're more no. choosy in your oh, pattern? Me, no. Maybe no, no more choosing the pattern, but maybe a little bit lighter. Instead of doing maybe three or four contracts, I might only do one or two, you know, something like that. But no, I don't change very much. 
you know, okay. I, I have winners and losers. Like today, I've had I did more trading than I usually do today. That I because I had four, uh, I had five trades. I had three good winners and a, uh, a loser that was in the S and P, and then I had a break even in. Uh, gosh, I can't remember what it was, but it's been overall, it's been a relatively good day. But I, I don't try to do anything different any day. I don't know how to do anything different. You know, I mean, it's a, I do the same thing for so many years, and, and I know that it works. If I just stick with it, I'm going to be okay. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. That, That's, uh, thank you. Thanks in. for calling. And uh, happy, holi uh, happy holiday to you. Happiest of holidays to you, Jeff, okay? Oh, thanks. Same to you, Larry. Thank you. you. Should, Jeff, well. let me ask you a question. Do you, what, what the software package? I see you sending your charts all the time. Do you use Ensign by any chance? Uh, no, I'm just using the... Um, Interactive Brokers uh, okay. Workstation. That's a, that's a good platform. That's a very good platform. No problem. Well, listen, thanks for calling in and have a wonderful holiday, okay? All right, you too. Thanks. Take care. Okay. Bye -bye. All right, folks. I let the cat out of the bag. Not a cat out of the bag. What am I talking about? I suggested last week we talked about a volatility stop uh, program here in the Ensign that's used. And you can see here that this thing's chopped out, you know, quite a bit. Well, folks... <laughs> If somebody out there is really good with Ensign and Ensign programming, the DI Design Your Own, give me a call. Five, uh, what is it? Five two zero two four one five seven nine three. Give me a call because I got I found something with this darn thing that that really has some some really good viability. Now I I basically my viability with this folks is I watch for these patterns right here. Now these are look at this. There's your there's your 382 pattern here. It goes a little above, does not get to the 61% retracement. You had another one. If you looked at it right here, from this level right here, look at this one here, right on the flat out money by just uh, misses it by uh, a one penny. Uh, today, it went above it just a little bit, and we're heading down. Folks, if you want a Christmas present and you want to see Santa, Santa is in the house. So let's get this up here and take a look at this daily because this is the daily chart that we're watching right now. And what we're going to be looking at is right down here, boys and girls. That's where the big, uh, where the, the lady is going to be singing, as they say in the trade. Let's get rid of all this stuff here just to show you where you're looking at. This is your Christmas present. Of course, don't unwrap it unless it works. But there's your A, B, C, D pattern coming in right here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure this distance right here. And that's going to take you right here to 522. That's 20 cents from where we are right now. What do you think is going to happen when we take these stops out, folks? We're going to be heading down. So we're going to be watching that expansion, and we're going to be watching this expansion because that is the one I'm going to be buying at right here at 527. I like 1.618 more than I like 1.27 because this is the end of the line. If this one doesn't hold, look at this. This distance here that you're, you're dealing with is five cents. You become a wheat farmer, folks, for $250. Now, that's a hell of a lot better than 50000 by the time you bought the property and or leased the property and then went in. But look at that. What a beautiful pattern you got setting up here at uh, 520. And nobody wants it. Everybody, well, let's get up here and take a look at this on the monthly basis because just a few years back, hello, operator, just a few years back. Now, this is D-Suite from the very beginning. Look at this. This was at 11.50 a bushel, folks. Look at this. It's dropped three, I mean, can you believe it's trading at $5 a bushel? Everybody in the world, limit up here. Everybody in the world wanted it here. Now, you think the people are going to stop eating bread? I doubt it. But look at this. This is a monthly chart. Let's go look about what we talk about. Yeah, I see, Johnny. I see you waving your hand. Look at this. There's your 382 right here. Didn't quite make the 50%, and then down they came. Let's try it again from another level, higher level. Look at this one here. This one came in within, oh, boy, this one missed it by, uh, this one missed it by three cents of the 382. And now we're getting down here where the big daddy rabbit's going to be out there chasing foxes instead of the uh, foxes chasing him. So take a look at this wheat, folks, if we get down to this level. You don't see it down here very often, and no one's going to be stop eating bread and cookies and cakes. I can promise you that. 
especially for the holidays. And I almost fell down because my <laughs> my Aeron chair uh, broke today. The arm fell off of it. God, after 30, what a great chair this has been. Uh, anyway, it's uh, very, very reliable. All right, let's move on here. We've got a couple others here that we want to uh, pay very, very close attention to. Hold on here. Where is that treasury bond? Because we are really, we're close. We just, uh, we're at 02 right now, folks. We're on the air doing this, so this is going to be a real interesting one where we are. See, I'd like to, I want to be a seller up here at 06. That's the number that I'm looking at. Uh, that's my long-term 61%. Uh, Let's get this daily up here one more time, and I'm going to get rid of everything. Let's just go to a four-hour because... This is really an important one from my perspective, and I believe it's... Well, stay with us. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. We got Mr. Winsky coming up. Naples, Florida. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hello, Clay. We're pleased to welcome Mr. Norm Winsky out of Naples, Florida here today for our Thanksgiving holiday treat for everyone. What do you got for us today, Norm? Hello, Larry. Hello, Larry. Thanks for having me on. My pleasure, Norm. 
Okay, I thought well, I'd review. I was last on your show on November 6th and gave the uh, gave these four points here forecasting these various markets. Quick review. Uh, the weekend of the 3rd, Monday was, uh, the 6th was a Monday, so I was on your show on Monday, so I thought I would cover uh, Saturn had just turned direct. That's the opposite of retrograde in a sign of Pisces. <clears throat> Saturn is coffee and Pisces is oil, so we'll be looking at those two markets for that window. And that morning of the 6th, we had Mars, a two-year cycle, get to zero south latitude. Uh, that's sort of a helio thing, so we'll be looking at sunny corn and uh, golden gold, a uh, golden gold. You know what I mean? So there we go. And the helio, you know, that uh, refers to the sun. That's from Greek. And then the uh, that afternoon we had Mercury aphelion as Mercury goes around the sun, 88 day cycle. When aphelion is at its farthest point, and anytime we have uh, Mercury. We have brains, and because it refers to the sun also, we will add gold. Then we have the night of the 10th. That was a weekend. Uh, we had a new moon in the sign of Scorpio. Anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we round up the usual suspects, financial grains, precious metals. And because it was in Scorpio, we're adding also cocoa, well, an emphasis on cocoa, hogs, and T-bond. So let's see how that all worked out. Here we have uh, three w points for corn. We had this point here for the uh, first point was our uh, Mars at zero uh, latitude. And th that was right there. Then we kind of went sideways for our next point. So that's a pass. And if you sold there, you would be pretty happy because it had a nice drop. Then our third point was the and the new oh, was that a full new moon new moon right uh, oh new moon that was a sorry that was a new moon on the weekend of the tenth so if you bought on the next morning's opening Monday the thirteenth uh, you would have been a happy camper again so there we go here's soybeans we had the uh, mercury point here mercury happy healing there and you could have made a little bit of money on that and if you you might have we were a day off on the low here. Uh, so uh, the low was actually over here on the 9th, and then you made a slightly higher bottom on the 10th. So that's a, that was a miss on the beans. So we went 50-50 on the beans. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, then on the wheat, we had the Mercury Point, Mercury Happy Helium there. You could have made a little bit of money there. And if you bought there, you were over here on the moon, uh, new moon, and then, uh, yeah, full moon, wait, uh, New moon, sorry, new moon, I'll get it straight. Uh, then you could have had a chance to make some, a little bit more money there. Uh, coffee did not uh, react to our Saturn, and so that's a miss. Uh, cocoa was a day early, uh, it's okay. We didn't have get a lot of heat on that. Maybe, uh, maybe you're down 50, 60 points on the drawdown there before it topped out, and then you had a big drop. For about uh, about uh, so 50, about 50, 60 handles down, uh, 50, 60 points, I should say. Here's hogs. Hogs are pretty nice. Rallied right up into our uh, full our new moon window in Scorpio, and that was a nice top. And then down, down, down. Hogs are dropping. They were looking for a trough. That's a hog joke, Larry. I and got there it, yes. we have the crude oil. <laughs> Going sideways, so we do nothing there. Uh, just as an afterthought, hindsight's genius, of course. Uh, the next day, it started drop, had a big sharp drop, but we would not have known that went back here when it was going sideways. All right, that was on a Saturn going direct in Pisces, by the way. So that's a pass. The yellow is a pass. Green is good. Red is bad. Here, the silver rallied into our window here. Wait, what was that? Something went wrong here. Oh, oh, wait, that's not right. That's not the right chart. I'll have to get back to that on a commercial. Okay, here's gold. We had the uh, three points for the gold. We had a high here for the uh, Mercury Apahelion. Uh That was a miss there. And But on the moon, we had the low there. On the, right on the moon. So there we go. 
I think I have that chart, and I didn't put it into this document, you know. All right, S&P, I go on sideways. Oh, S&P, you might have been tempted to sell there on our two points, the Merkur Abihelion and the second one, the Mars Zero Latitude. That's normally, usually, a high percentage <clears throat> two points there, but the uh, S&P didn't care that this time, and uh, you wouldn't have made any money there. And this going sideways there, so we're going to pass on that one. And uh, we didn't have any luck in the S&P this month, which is very unusual. So uh, we missed on that. So, uh, But on the T-bonds, we had two points here. Well, I'm going to give the uh, T-bonds double credit for the moon in Scorpio, because normally we'd be looking at the T-bonds anyway for a full moon, new moon. But because it was in Scorpio, we're going to, well, we had emphasis on that, so we give that two points for that low there and then you can see had a very nice pop up there for about two th handles for two or two thousand dollars the dollar rallied into the moon just missed uh, the absolute high there by a few uh, pips as Larry would say and then big drop the next day here's the British pound pulling back into the moon the low was on the 10th you could have bought against that low and then you had a big pop up there uh, the British pound, here's the yen, making the low on the next day. On the 14th, there's the moon there, and you made your drop. So anyway, you have a high percentage on these uh, currencies and precious metals, and I will find the silver chart on the next commercial. And anyway, so we have, I, I think when we get the silver chart, you'll see that that was also a winner, and we had 15 winners Six misses out of 21 with 71.43 percent, assuming that I'm what I'm telling you about the silver is right. Now, coming up here in the future, uh, in the uh, this is the 20th, the night of the 22nd, we will have geocentric from the point of view of the Earth, Mars entering Sagittarius. Uh, the night of the at the end of the week here, the week next weekend, Jupiter to the U.S. chart, stocks, T bonds, U.S. dollar. Then we also have a heliocentric Mars entering Sagittarius. This only occurs about every two years where the geocentric position of Mars and the heliocentric uh, position of Mars lines up. They're only a couple of days apart. They're in the same sign. Then that same week, this next weekend, we have Uranus lining up to the U.S. chart for T-bonds, U.S. dollar. I'm going to go out on the limb here now and make a little forecast. Watch for possible disruptions of U.S. communications and transportation. And then we also have that weekend Norm, a we full moon in the sign of Gemini, financials, grange, and precious metals. Norm. Oh, there's, there's the music for the commercial. I'll go see where, where we can find that. We'll so, be right back with Norm Winsky, folks. Hold on. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back with Norm Winsky, folks, Astro Trans, Naples, Florida. Please continue, Norm. Okay, I got the silver chart updated now, and I what happened was I did this last night, but didn't uh, somehow forgot to paste it into the document here. What's that again? I didn't oh, say anything. Hearing, no. I got an echo. We got an echo on the line. I'm hearing myself. The, anyway, we got the silver chart. Uh, we got the silver chart updated now, and uh, there you go. We made a low right on the moon. There, it doesn't get much better than that, you know. And are you there, Larry? Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay. All right. I was some technical issue there on the line. I was hearing myself at an echo. That drives you crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, there's the silver there, right? Making a low of the month, right on the moon there, on the new moon. And then up, up, and away for a while. It was like two handles there, two, two about two. Uh, well, if you're doing the big contract, that's 5,000 a handle. So there's 10 grand right there, you know, right? Yes, all right, so anyway, we got the charts all updated now. I gave you the forecast here. We'll go look at that real quick again. And uh, so these numbers are right. And the forecast, everything I told you here, should be right. And that's me. I've been doing this a long, long time. Uh, I've been uh, doing this professionally for more than 45 years. Started, was trading back in college before I landed in Chicago on this CBOE and later on the Chicago Board of Trade. And tried to get up my hands on everything I could find. GAN, Elliott Wave, astrology, cycles, Fibonacci, all this stuff. Been studying all this stuff for most of my adult life. Mm -hmm. All right, so I started this my market letter on, on October 31 of 1978. So I just had my 45th anniversary, and uh, to uh, as a nice thing to celebrate that. Last call here now. I offered this while I was on last time. Uh, so last call, if you'd like to get the October key dates forecast results report showing you how things went last month and for the past uh, for this year. And also I got data back to uh, 2016 showing you that I average over 70% winning trades. I think last month I did like about 75% and so forth. And there we go. So get a hold of me. You know, if you're not if you're uh, not doing over 70% winning trades, you might want to uh, give me a contact me. We'll set up a free consultation, free talk with you, uh, talk with you, and see if we can get you uh, imp get you improved or you're over 70%. And if you are over 70%, then I'd be happy to hear about how you're doing that. So I'd love to talk to you folks. And here's my contact information. Here, I'm in beautiful Naples, Florida at 239-594-3939. Here's my email, nwinske at yahoo.com. And you can call me on Skype for free at nwinske. 
underscore one. Looking forward to helping some of the folks there, Larry, and everybody. Have a great, uh, have happy Thanksgiving if you're in America or not. Okay, Thanks for sure. No, everybody thanks for joining holiday. us, my friend. We'll have you on again soon. Okay, buddy. All right. Thanks a lot. You have a great holiday, Larry. Uh, okay, you too, Norm. Hold on. Say hello to Pat for me. Will do. Tomorrow's her birthday. Oh, tell her happy birthday. Oh, what great yep. timing. And believe me, that was an accident. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on here, folks. Let's get this chart up. We are having a question about Tesla here. And I wanted to get up here and uh, talk to you about it a little bit. This is the uh, chart that we're looking at here uh, is for Tesla. Uh, you'll notice here that we've had these three lower tops in here. This is a uh, this is a one three five pattern, folks. There's one, there's three, and there's five. As you look at this, uh, you've you've had a nice little Gartley cell here set up here just a couple of days ago up there at that uh, 250 level. It's uh, uh, basically unchanged today, but there's what we're paying attention to right there. But this is a uh, perfect 135 pattern. That was the question that the person asked, and I'm very happy to hear that those folks are. Uh, paying attention to these patterns because they don't work all the time, but they work some of the time. Anyway, you'll notice here, this is what we've got going here. Oh, shut the front door. This is what happens to me when I hit the wrong button. Just a minute to get this thing out of the way here. And there's, I don't, oh, I've got to, I've got to take that out, folks. Otherwise, it's going to just drive me absolute nine nuts, and I don't want to do that. Hold on, I'm already halfway there anyway. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, this is terrible. See, it won't allow me to. It won't allow me to delete in this mode here, so I'm just going to have to mess with the darn thing. Shucks, uh, I can't get it to come down either because if I do, it'll go there. That's close enough. Anyway, if you look at the highs to highs, that's what you want to be watching. You see, it comes in just absolutely perfectly. Look at that. It's a 42 days from high to high, came in exactly. This is a 135. OK, now all I did is we're looking at this. I know that this was the 382 off of the high, as I recall, from the high back here to this high. There's your 382. Ah, I'm wrong. That's a 50 percent level area. That shouldn't be there. That's a wrong. So it's 50 percent of that move right there. So this uh, Tesla is still bearish unless we get above 250. We get above 250. All bets are off. And it's, uh, you know, going to go a whole lot higher. Uh, in my opinion. Now, we've also had a request to talk about Mr. Appel, who's always down by the well. Let's get that up here. And uh, that probably still going bonkers. We're probably above 190 now. I'd be, oh, we're 191. We're right up there at that 78% level. There's where we were. There was 61% retracement. We gapped above that. Okay. See how we gapped above the 61% retracement? We talked about that last week, and now we're up against the 78% level here today at 191.78. And the high so far today is too far off. It was 191.80, and 191.78 is the 78% level, this level right here. So, the, folks, these markets, they, 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 just keep, they just keep going up and up and up. I know the reason. And that's the thing that we talked about way back when on October the 22nd. I totally screwed this one up, folks. I tell you, I'll, I'll live to regret this one. But as we get this up here and take a quick look at it right here, I want to, where is that thing? Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. That's not the one I wanted. Where is it? Oh, no, 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 not that. I want Bradley. That's what I want. See, this is what we were looking at right here, and that's the one. This is the one. Ah, it's the one right below it. Just a second here. This is the one that's worth the price of admission. There was a 20, uh, right here, it was the 28th of October. Okay, that was a, the lunar eclipse. Okay, this is what you're coming into, folks, in January. Wait for this one. We're going to have a nice move here sometime in December to uh, late December, a little bit of a sell-off in here. Everybody's going to say, well, that's the end. There's the end. It's going to be up in there. And that's that's the one where the, the, the soprano is standing in front of Mr. Luciano Pavarotti saying, let's uh, let's make some money. 
And that's what we're going to be doing when we get to that level. We're going to have lots of time before that, but I, I miss that bottom. I mean, there's no excuse for it. I didn't sell it there, for God's sake. I just didn't say buy it. I said try to buy it. It never made a 382 retracement all the way up, and nothing else you can do about it. So let's move back here. We had one other one. Oh, we don't even know if we have time. Let me double check here. Uh, well, let's take a little break. We have one more stock to look at. We come back from the break, so stay with us. And we'll be right back to take a look at none other than Softy itself, Microsoft. So bear with us here, and we'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I've asked to take a look at Softy Microsoft, and today is a Sam Altman in coming in to work for uh, Microsoft. Uh, Sam Altman is Mr. AI, Mr. Artificial Intelligence. He's the uh, Elon Musk of uh, artificial intelligence, folks. And you can see the stock has gone, it's uh, jumped up six points. You know, that's a huge move for Microsoft. As you can see, it's powering into new high ground. Altman has a reputation that is second to none. And uh, he is going to be, he has joined them already. And so we're going to be finding out what this, this folks, if nothing else, we're going to go at least $4 higher to make the 1.27 expansion of this move right here. I mean, we're certainly going to do that. All right. So that, that's a new brainer. Look at this. Ever since this uh, pullback here at this 382 uh, happened, 
uh, th this never never looked back. We're up uh, since the 20. There's there's your solar eclipse right here. There's your solar eclipse, and boom, away it went. And you know we're still going, and it ain't going to stop right here. No question about it. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to today, folks. So make sure it's about not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And that's the real key to staying in this game. That's what you want to be doing. We're going to have a holiday weekend. Uh, the the, the Wednesday is going to be light. Friday is going to be one of the most important days because that is the day that has the highest percentage of closing higher on that day, the day after Thanksgiving, than any of the 255 trading days of the year. Better than 78% of the time, you're going to be higher. So if you're going to fade that one, make sure you have a good reason for it because you're going to be fa facing some really, not only that, but you're in the midst of a really strong trend in the holiday season. Hello, operator. So let's uh, let's try to, I gave my last few points, I gave my last 50 points in the Dow today. And so that was it. And uh, standing aside. All right. See you on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.